terrible loss of life. And this one is just is pulling. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And then we watched the building collapse. And people still dying in Afghanistan over it. True. Right. What do you, what do you think about that? The official story of 9/11. Well, I was pushing that conspiracy theory with uh, Jesse Ventura yesterday. Yes. Okay. That's interesting. He's taking quite a risk. Oh yeah. You know, uh, he, you know, when you look at uh, he said political office of the governor. You know, uh, he didn't actually say outright that it's a, uh, that it's a fraud, but he said there's a conspiracy. Yep. Okay. Well, there's too many facts staring us in the face that show that there's something not right. Well, you know? how could how could the Americans not find Osama bin Laden? Yeah. Okay. In nine years. And if the uh, if they if they offer enough reward, unfortunately, like I've talked to cops and they've told me that if they gave me a million dollars, I would do anything. Yeah. So, uh, it's trial counts, maybe they're different. Uh, and what's their bounty on his head right now? 50 million, something like that? Uh, I'm sure they would have tracked him down. Or just with your knowledge of human nature, just walk the street here, you know, and uh, there's got to be at least one person who would have turned him in by now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, even the buildings, how they came down themselves, like Building 7. 47 story steel skyscraper. Well, the, the theory goes that the other buildings were uh, created in a way that were like, they were like, hung. I mean, they were suspended. They were the central floor. Yeah. And then the, and then the supports went out from there. So if you cut the central floor, then they all falls down. Yeah. That's the theory. That's the theory. But uh, if the other one wasn't hung that way, and if they found residue from the yeah. I don't want to go on and on. How does that explain it? What's this? Give some information. It's a lot like uh, Jesse Ventura's conspiracy theory. It's just a documentary format. Oh, okay. This DVD will absolutely quell any any second thoughts you have. Yeah. So, what, what is the uh, my uh, my aim, my uh, website used to be Create Change. Nice. Okay, a long time ago. But uh, the uh, thank you. How much is this? Free. Okay. Bunch of people in a cave. Uh, maybe like the third or fourth largest air force stand down. I believe that you know what you have good people, you have evil people. There's good and bad everywhere, and I believe that you know what mankind created this themselves. That's my opinion. What about um, the morning of 9/11? Right, the United States Air Force was running drills. Right, the same morning of 9/11, simulating hijacked airplanes flying into the World Trade Center. And then they came out afterward and said we had no knowledge. Uh, the president said no. We never Christ. envisioned yep. them ever doing that. You know what? That I can't, morning. I, I can't, I wasn't there, so I can't speak for them. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is that, you know what, a countless amount of lives are lost. This is a tragedy. I know that we're on phone back to Newfoundland. They helped out quite a few people that we routed and we put them up to stay there. It goes to show that something that horrific had to happen in order for people to get together and extend a helping hand. And at this point in time right now, people just need to continue doing that, you know? Let's see it's right it's now. a huge tragedy and things are going to happen. Government, oh, yeah. you don't always get what you want to hear from the government. You don't always get that. But you got to have hope and faith in something, right? And people need to have that. So you think that it needed to happen to, to fulfill a bigger cause? No. 
I think it needed to happen in order for us to open up our eyes on what's really happening in the world. That needed to happen. What is really happening? What's really happening in my opinion? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of tragic, unnecessary causes of death. There's a lot of wars that are happening. Why are they happening? You know? A lot of the ones right now are happening because of 9-11. Well, exactly. Yeah. And you got to find out what the root was. My own personal opinions on that, I'm not going to say it on camera because you know what? I'm biased in certain areas. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's again, it's tragic that happened. And things need, to, things need to change. And you need to start with hope first. Absolutely. Right? If we start here and do changes here, then whether it's you doing it or whether I do it, but one person changes and then you're going to see a whole effect change. And one country's got to start doing it in order for everyone else to start doing it. So you think it's important then to investigate what's your like, you know, Yeah, it's always. Both there's, sides. There's, there's three sides to every story. Yeah. There's his side, her side, then there's the truth. Right. right? So, I mean, you're going to have your viewpoints on it. And then what I'm saying, I'm going to have my viewpoints, but someone else can see it totally different. So you as a Canadian, you would support a new investigation into 9-11? I, I would support the investigation um, if it brought our troops back. I would okay. support the investigation if it saved a lot of lives. Yeah, okay. definitely. Well, I, I support it just for the fact that 152 Canadian soldiers have died over it. They need justice. Yeah. Same with the 24 that died in the buildings. True. You know, and also That's the... And also the families too, like all they're doing is just screaming or something like, like our children, you know, our nieces, our nephews, our aunts, uncles, grandparents, they died in that building. We want views on 9-11. Views on 9-11. This being the ninth anniversary. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You know what? Uh, views on 9-11, wow. Yeah. Um, I suppose a couple questions. Yeah, sure. Well, tragic is the one that comes to mind. Uh, tragic for so many reasons. Uh, tragic not only for the people who died in the event, tragic for the United States in terms of the way in which it decided to react. Tragic for the uh, for the Muslim world because for them it's it's a, become a war against Muslims, which is which is absurd because it's not all Muslims who are at issue here. It's it's just a group of people who decided to take a particular attack. Um, so yeah, deeply tragic. That's that's my take. Do you think there's any cover up uh, by the government uh, around the official story? You know, it's funny. I was watching something about that last night. Just last night on the History yeah. Channel, whether or not they could prove it was a plane that went into the Pentagon or a missile. And you know what? I think that the issue with, for me with these kinds of things where you're trying to understand exactly what happened, um, you, you lose the opportunity to focus on perhaps what's more important by focusing on what happened in the past to try to answer a question which is basically unanswerable. Really, if they didn't want you to know, you'd never know, right? So if you get an unanswerable question, you can spend your whole life pondering it, or you can focus on something that's much more rewarding, which is helping people to put their consciousness back together after a horrific event. Because you know what? It showed me, that event showed me that the biggest issue that we have in our civilization is that we don't give enough, we don't care enough about our own civilization, mm -hmm. right? We've got, you know, the, all of the things that are wonderful about the Western civilization, we, we lose all of that because we're, we're wrapped up in our own self-hatred. This is why Osama bin Laden is correct when he says what's going to defeat the West is the West itself. Because we don't love our, we don't love our own heritage anymore. Do you see the 9-11 the, uh, the tragedy, as you call it, is a tragedy, um, do you see that as a pretext to bring us into a world government? Pretext to bring us into a world government. You know what? Uh, there's nothing I can do, if we're going into world government or not, there's nothing I can do about that. Because, but, but let me, so let me tell you this, again, instead of thinking about what the issue is about a world government, what I got to do is I got to get to know you better, right? I got to get to know him better. That's what it is. That's what I got to do. Yeah. Because world government or not, that ain't going to save me. That's got nothing to do with my survival or the survival of my children or my species. The only thing that's going to help me is to get to know you better. Because when it comes down to it, and we got that last crust of bread between us, we got to decide whether or not we're going to split it or we're going to fight it. That's the only thing that's going to make this world worth living. So is the New World Order a good thing or a bad thing? You know what? The New World Order to me is completely meaningless. Really? Meaningless. Because again, the only thing that matters is, you know what, they, governments come and go, you know, it's like Romans, Greeks, Babylonians, Assyrians, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, think about the story, the story, the only thing that makes any sense in the story is about the transformations of the individuals who learned the lesson of it, right? All the way from the first humans to the last time, the only thing that makes any sense, the only thing that makes any difference 
is to understand what the story is telling you and do something about yourself. It is so clever that they can accomplish something like that. It really doesn't consider my interest or input meaningful in any way. What do you think? And, but, but think about it. If they can... I'll spin, I'll spin a conspiracy for you. So you just no, no, hold on a second. No, no, I don't think so. I'm getting the answer. Uh, I'll spin a conspiracy for you. Suppose it's possible that what they did was in order to create super soldiers in the 1960s is they put growth hormones in the food that black people ate in order to make sure that certain parts of the United States where there was the greatest amount of poverty would create super soldiers so that they could draft them into the military to fight the communists in Vietnam. The reason it looks fuzzy still is because of the inside. That's correct. Yes, we can't read. <laughs> you, you, you can answer the question. The point is this, if they're that clever to do something like that, whether they're bloodline, great, you know, they're, they're purple lizards, whether they're, you know, they're the Illuminati, whether they're whatever, is meaningless because they come, it's they not go, meaningless. it's totally It's not meaningless. If they it's are, if they are running gonna, a world government, okay, if they are running a world government, how, how is that meaningless? You totally want meaningless. The only thing that meaning, this is, you want to show me the only thing that's meaningful? The only thing that's meaningful, man. Like that's the only thing that's meaningful. I like giving you hugs. I, I see on television. The only thing that's that's disagree. Disagree. Death to the New World Order. <laughs> no sound. You know what I say to the New World Order? Hey, Move. <laughs> nice talking to you. Hey, Thanks a lot. Hey, what do you think about the official story? Do you think? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean? What do you think? Uh, I I really don't know who did it. I don't think Bin Laden and Al Qaeda. There's too many facts saying that it, it would be impossible for them to, like NORAD standing down, uh, nano thermite and military grade explosives being found in the rubble. Well, I think Al Qaeda involved. <laughs> you think so? Uh, you know, check out the DVD. You know, there's lots of information. Yeah, what's on the DVD? It's just a documentary going through a lot of the facts uh, that there was nano thermite. Uh, the building seven was not hit by a plane, but still collapsed into its own footprint. That building seven stayed up, no? Uh, until 5:20 p.m. and then it collapsed into its own footprint, just like both towers did. Uh, there's tw over 1,200 architects and engineers to say that for all three of those buildings to fall into their own footprints from fire is totally impossible. Uh, in Madrid, Spain, 2005, there was a skyscraper that burnt for 20 hours. What are you saying? Uh, Really unsure. I think there's a real push for globalization. Uh, things like a North American Union and You're European Union. You're saying the Union. states took it down themselves? It's a possibility. I mean, I won't say that yes, absolutely 100%. Why the planes then? Uh, well, have you ever heard of Operation Northwoods? It was a declassified document because, you know, back in the 70s with Cuba, there was a plan put to paper to remotely control an airplane and crash it into Miami and blame it on the Cubans for a pretext of war. We look at that Yeah, well, even the hijackers, six of the twenty-one, have turned out to be a lot. Pretty deep. <laughs> yeah, it is, and I mean, a lot of people don't like to think of it like that. Yeah. And what we want to push for is just a new investigation. You know, oh. same with the over twelve hundred architects and engineers. I mean, what could a new investigation hurt? Yeah.